be at when they say they doing all this and all that Tired of beefing you bums, you can't even pay me enough to react Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Aysa and I'm really glad you clicked on this video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this high puff with a bang. So this is my first time doing a puff with a bang like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see how I achieve this look, definitely stay tuned. But before we get into this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And of course, give this video a like if you want to see more hair tutorials like this. And if you want to see more of us, definitely stick around after this video because on this channel we do hair videos, makeup videos, fashion videos, and lifestyle videos. So you don't want to miss any of them. But yeah, we're gonna get right into this tutorial. So guys, we're gonna get into this hairstyle. As you can see, I already have a bun, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out and undo my braid. So I'm gonna do that really quickly and I'll be right back to show you guys basically what we're gonna do next. Okay, so this is my braids, they're done. I actually really like how curly it is. Oh my god, like, I lowkey don't feel like doing anything with my hair now, because look at the curls, guys. Like, damn. Like, that looks so pretty. I feel like I should do a braid out with like smaller braids like this to get like really defined curls like this, but okay. This is not the goal of this video. So we're basically going to be doing a bang. Look, like I could even leave it as a bang like this and it would look so nice. Like obviously I would put this up and it would look so nice. Like, I don't know why I never thought about this. But anyways, that's not the point. I'm gonna go ahead and section off the front part of my hair that I want to swoop. I'm trying to make it like as perfect as possible. So this is basically how I'm going to section it off. And what it's gonna look like is gonna look something like this, if that makes sense. So this is what I'm going to swoop and the rest is going to go back into the ponytail. Okay, so because I already have a ponytail on, what I'm going to do, I'm kind of going to do this the lazy way, guys. And just pin this, but before I want to make sure that it's like really like slicked down. Yeah, so I'm going to do this the lazy way. You know, obviously if you don't already have a bun, you don't, you can like actually like do it properly. But I'm kind of lazy right now. So I'm going to show you guys a little hack. So basically I'm going to take gel, sorry. I'm going to take my Shine and Jam. I love using this, I've been using it. The style I previously had, the two braids, I basically used this. So this, it's a really good gel. I feel like it does the job. And you know, I don't need no edge control because this is pretty strong itself. Okay, so I just did this. The rest of my hair isn't like really sleek down, but I'm doing this for this part because it was braided, so it looked a little different. So basically, this is how it's going to look. I'm going to go all the way up, take my bobby pin, one of them, whichever one you want to use, and just pin it at the top where you basically 
uh, your entire hair and just like that you didn't need to do anything like you know and it still it looks good it looks like it fits with the hair so yeah now I'm gonna go ahead and work on this section now for this section I want my swoop to go something like this so I'm just looking where I want my swoop to go so that I can plan it I want it to be something like this I think that would be good so basically what I'm going to do I'll take the gel and start like kind of putting it a little bit on this part and I'm putting a lot at the top you guys will see why later I'm just doing this because it's going to help with like sleeking down the hair like it's going to go down the hair so I'm putting a lot I thought it can go down the shaft of your hair Loki I think I'm going to wear like that hairstyle that I had in the beginning one of these days because that looked really nice okay so I'm gonna go with my heart soft bristle brush I don't know if I mentioned the name of it earlier and I'm just going to sneak it up down and you see how the gel kind of goes down with it that's what I want so basically I want my swoop to look something like this okay, so my hair is kind of reverting a little bit but it's okay the thing with this is you have to be precise from the get-go because okay so basically this is what it might look like and you can just kind of play with it until you get it looking like you want it to basically i'm not that like good at swoops guys but i'm just going to show you guys like how i do it and hopefully this can be helpful to someone that is also struggling with swoops but yeah i'm still learning don't you hate when you have your makeup done and then like you don't want the swoop to like disturb it but it's like inevitable that's basically what i'm going through right now so i'm just kind of playing with it and just trying to get it to lay this is how i want it so i'm just basically playing with that and then i'm going to add a little more gel because over here like my hair is reverting or not reverting but it's kind of not like molding like the rest of the hair just because I didn't like add gel all the way down so basically what I'm going to do because now I basically have the shape that I want I just need to work with the front right so yeah I basically have the shape that I want and this is how I want it to go around my head so as you can see I have a little bit left here what I'm going to do I'm going to pin it here right here and at the top so I'm gonna take my first bobby pin pin it at the closest just because I don't want that to move too much and then I'm going to take my other bobby pin and pin it at the top so that it can blend in with the hair too and this bobby pin is so big guys so I'm going to try it got so like stretched out from using it but basically this is what it is okay now I'm going to go and fix that swoop if you guys have any suggestions on how to better your swoop definitely leave them down below because I think I don't wear like swoop hairstyles enough okay and then so that you don't see too much of that line I'm going to cover it up with my hair I'm just going to push it up a little bit but while I do that I'm going to use this and just kind of like help with like keeping my hair down and I'm going to do this um, little baby hair over here So I'm just fixing my baby hairs, just making them or attempting to like mold them into little curlies. I wish I had like long hoops. I feel like it would go so well with this look. And just try and keep your hair like as close as possible so it doesn't separate like it's starting to separate here. 
and I'm also fixing the back bobby pin but like the lower one as I'm fixing the swoop because this is just going to help like keep it in place so basically I'm gonna go ahead and use my bandana and kind of set that swoop because this is gonna help it like stay basically like put see so yeah, I'm just trying different hairstyles this year guys with my natural hair okay so I'm gonna leave this on for a few, quite a few minutes and I'll be back to show you guys like basically what my swoop looks like at the end okay so it's been a while now um, I've had this I was over here on my phone watching videos so I'm about to take it off and see how it came out, how it laid. Ooh, okay, that's actually not bad. So this is what it looks like and you just kind of, you know, play with your hair so that you don't see like too much of the demarcation. But yeah, and it looks like, ooh, I'm actually, it's actually not bad like it's not bad i i was expecting like worse just because i don't know i'm not the best at doing swoops you know so i'm going to put a bit more gel on my little things my little curly things this one looks like it's doing good but the other one was kind of yeah i think actually this hairstyle came out like really really nice i wasn't expecting it i'm just putting a little more gel over here because some parts didn't have any i still have a bit of like separation but it's not that bad so i'm not that mad and that's just because like my hair in the front like and the section that i took wasn't that thick so that's basically why there's still a bit of separation but yeah like i said i'm not that mad at it it's not too bad to the point like earlier it was really worse but yeah you can just pull it a little bit like this part the rest is kind of eh, it's okay you know it's really not that bad you can't really see it like that but this is basically what the hairstyle looks like so guys as you can see this is the end of the video this is basically what my hair looks like and i actually really really like it i think it's different to what you know i normally do and it kind of gives your high puff like a little like character a little something different you know instead of only always putting it in a puff so yeah definitely let me know down below if you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know also what other hair tutorials you would like to see i'd be glad to bring that to you guys but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and share it with anyone you think it might help and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys